joining us. I want to thank uh, Chairman Tom Price. Uh, this was his idea. This is his initiative, and we have embraced it fully. Tom, thanks for your leadership, the Republican uh, Study Committee. And I want to thank my co-chairman, Jason Chavis, who's a young man who's bringing really innovative ideas to uh, strengthen the size of federal government. We are here because we want to make the sun set on wasteful Washington spending, and we want the sun to rise on freedom and liberty in America. The truth is, if we keep spending the way we are, and I, this is not an exaggeration, uh, we may not see a balanced budget again in our lifetime. Again in our lifetime. To avoid that, we ha not only do we have to stop the endless prey to government bailouts, we have to control entitlement spending, but we have to take a look at each and every federal program to determine, does it deserve your tax dollars today? And sad sadly, countless billions of dollars go wasted each year on programs that duplicate each other, that have outlived their usefulness, and that simply don't deserve those dollars. We have, uh, currently, there's more than 240 separate education programs, 342 different economic development programs, and more than 70 separate business support programs. And Heritage Foundation estimates that at least $55 billion each year go to program overpayments. We just pay too much for what we're getting. $25 billion unused federal property just sitting there, no use to the federal taxpayers, and $123 billion for programs for which government auditors can find no evidence of success. Our goal is not a dime for programs that don't work. Let's invest in those that succeed and enhance liberty. Clearly, Ronald Reagan said it best, said the nearest thing to eternal life we'll ever see on the earth is a government program. He was right. Uh, we're going to be taking a closer look at these programs. We're dedicated to having full and fair, open debate. I know that's unusual in this undemocratic house that we serve in. So we're going to have full and fair debate on what these dollars are worth. Uh, Representative Fleming on the Sunset Caucus, we have 42 members now of this caucus and growing. He's going to be working to eliminate the Department of Education's diplomatic attache in Paris. And I picked as my first program uh, what is called, dubiously called, the Educational Cultural Apprenticeship and Exchange Program for Alaska Natives, Native Hawaiians, and their historical whaling and trading partners in Massachusetts. <laughs> well, let me tell you what that is. $8.75 mil million a year of your tax dollars are wasted connecting whalers in Massachusetts with their ancestors in Alaska and Hawaii. That's the equivalent of taking a small town in rural America, 2,000 people, and taking every dollar they paid Uncle Sam and putting it in this waste federal program. And that's just the start. The Sunset Caucus is going to work on behalf of taxpayers. I'm pleased to be part of it. And you're going to hear about a lot of programs that deserve to be sunsetted today. Thank you. Great. Thank you.